Hi, so this video is an answer to a question that was uh, sent to me as a comment on my course. Uh, the question is by Aline Lisa Mouse, and she asks, I was wondering whether you can recommend any courses or books on translation theory or introduction to translation for freelancers who did not study translation at university. There are a lot of courses available online, but you never know whether they're worth the money or if they're language specific, like being a German to English translator. That does not help me at all with my combination, which is not that common. I don't know what her language combination is precisely. She just says, it's not that common. And I thought this was an interesting question, so I wanted to bring it up. For those of you who are interested in translation theory, and if there are any courses that deal with introduction to translation or translation theory in general for freelancers, the short answer is I, I don't. I don't know of any uh, courses that are targeted for freelancers like us. Now, it depends where you live, but Sometimes local colleges, local schools where you are might offer courses and you can take or audit these courses. They might be courses on translation theory or translation in one of your language combinations. And that's the thing. Very often they will be language specific. And so if they are in the area that you live in, presumably that'll cover either your language combination or something along those lines. There is also a good page on pros.com. If you go under the forums, um, I think it's the translator training uh, link. I can, I can link to it down in the description below. And there they talk a lot about translator training and courses. They have on-demand courses, I mean video courses with self-paced training with one-on-one uh, -on -one training, webinars, etc. So definitely check out that link. Again, it'll be in the description below and hopefully you can find something that suits you there. But also you should keep in mind there are basically two main reasons for wanting to take a translation course. One of them would be because you have potential clients or maybe people are asking, you know, if, you, if you're certified or if you've taken courses or if you have a degree in translation. If this is the case, honestly, it might not be worth it because let's face it, most of these clients either are not in the translation world or they're not in your country or both. And so they don't really know what to look for exactly and who can rate your translation or who you should be getting a degree or certification from. So in these cases, honestly, it's better to have references or ratings from past translations, from past jobs. This shows them that you're a good translator. So if you're trying to get a certification or if you're trying to find a course let's say in translation for this reason I would think twice about it however the other reason would be just to make your translation skills better just to improve your translation in this case then once again you can look at the link I sent or you can look at your local schools for uh, courses that can help you out if you can't find anything that helps you out in any of these places and, and this might be the case if you have a, a very rare language combination quite frankly the best way then unfortunately is just to practice 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 you can also find some good books online uh, you know if you try to find books dealing with your specific language or just in your language that deal with translation per se but Another thing I would do, especially if you have a rare language combination, is to join a forum. You can try joining one of the translator forums and then searching for other translators who deal with your language combinations. A lot of these forums, especially on uh, pros.com, Translators Cafe, etc., basically all the main translators are going to be on there. So if you want to find anyone else that deals with your language combination, this is the place. And most of the time, when once you do get in touch with them, they're, they're going to be very helpful because, you know, it's rare to find sources, you know, for translation in your language combination. So these very often will be the best people to ask about it. So actually, I mentioned uh, some of these forums in the in my video of useful links the part two which also I can link to and so you can see different forums I also mentioned some organizations like the American Translator Association etc so you can check them maybe your local chapter or something has some translators that deal with your language combination unfortunately if you have a rare language combination you should talk to other translators in your language combination. They'll know best. But otherwise, I hope that helps. So as you can see, there are resources for learning different languages, but they're kind of segmented. But hopefully through one of those links or looking at your local schools or what's around you, you can find something that suits your needs in case you want to improve your translation skills or you want to get a degree or just get more training in translation. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please click like. Please give me a thumbs up because that always helps. And uh, feel free to subscribe for more videos where I talk about freelance translation, freelancing in general, and stuff along those lines. If you have any questions, also feel free to let me know. I try to read and try to answer all the questions that I can. Very often, if there's a question that I think deserves a video, then I'll make a video of it like I did in this one. That's about it for now. I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.